Okay, so while I was actually making this video, I didn't actually film a proper intro, so I'm just doing it now in post. Um, so this is pretty much a compilation of stores that I was going to on the way over to Universal Studios. Um, be, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I went to quite a few, um... It was a little weird because the GPS on the way over took us to, like, in a direction that pretty much took us away from any Targets or Walmarts, anything like that. It pretty much took us away from cities, really, um, or from the bigger cities where those stores would be. Um, so, yeah, that was a bit odd, but on our way back it decided to, but I'll, I'll just put them in the order where it would have been, like, where I would have gone. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoy this video. Um, so yeah. Okay, let's move on to the video. First target. Um, so yeah, they do have a Colonel Cal Blue. Oh wow, it's already on sale. I might actually pick it up. But yeah, so there you go. Okay guys, so I am at the second Target while I was actually on the road trip. Um, it turns out the GPS guided us into an area where we literally ran into no Targets, no Walmarts, no nothing. But here, luck decided to come through and I was able to find two of the new Wave 4 figures. Um, just let me, there we go. There it goes, I awkwardly strained my arm holding these. Um, so, yeah, I am definitely going to be picking those up. Um, I might ask if they have the uh, Mononychus in stock. I might even look around for a little bit, see if it was just misplaced, which is also likely. So, yeah, um, if there are any stops, I will cut back to you. Okay, there's a better look. There were people kind of waiting for me in the aisle. It seems like whenever I start recording, there are people that are instantly right next to me waiting for me. Um, but yeah, I found two of the three. I might try finding an employee and asking them if they might have any more in the back. If they do, then I guess I am kind of done with targets for now. Uh, and I'll probably be going to Walmarts from here on out. Um... But if they don't, well, then the hunt continues at Target. Um, so, yeah. And here it is for the first Walmart. Fortunately, they have none of the Mega Duel attacks. And I was actually looking up here for a brief moment thinking, are those them? And no, these, uh, I'm not going to actually try taking one down for all of you. Uh, but those are actually the um, Battle Damage uh, Baryonyx Breakout. Um, packs, so, which is funny because at the moment I just put up my videos like saying that, um, it's highly unlikely how they'll come into stores and here they are in stores, so if you want to find yours in stores, there you go, don't worry, at the end of the video, hopefully I'll remember to get all the UPCs and all that at the end, um, but yeah, looking around me, that seems to be all for uh, Dino Rivals wise. Uh, nothing I was, they didn't really have anything I was looking for here, but still at the Target though, I found a couple of good things. I'm thinking about running to the Target like next door, seeing if they have anything. So uh, I'll cut to the next clip. Okay, and this is what they have at this Target. And they actually have a couple of the Wave 3 but no Mononychus, and I found out it's Mononychus. So yeah, I might actually check these little packs and see if I can, if I can, if this is uh, the wave of the mystery packs that has the uh, Indominus Rex in it. And I did call another target and honestly guys, if you're planning on calling a target to ask what they have in stock, don't <laughs> just go yourself um, because I was on hold for a while just 
to be told, like, they, they went, they were looking, and they were like, what, what was it again, or what was the name again, and I had to, like, spell it out to them multiple times, and then they were just like, yeah, I don't see anything under that name, and I'm in the aisle, and then I asked if they were in the back, and, like, under attack packs, and they were like, yeah, I'm not getting anything for attack packs, or Jurassic World attack packs, so, yeah, that's the advice. If you're trying to look for an attack pack or any of these, other than maybe Brachiosaurus or one a future T-Rex or something, go ahead. Then I would suggest you'd be able to do that. But other than that, no, I would not suggest you to do that. Uh, but I'll, if I come across another target, I'll try to look for that. Okay, checked another target. They didn't have a Malonychus nor any of the new wave. Um, but, yeah, and I asked if they had any in the back. They said no. Apparently there were like five on the floor. I was only seeing one. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I... So, yeah. Then there's the new Legos. Uh, because there are people in the aisle once again. Uh, but, yeah. So, uh, if there's a next clip, I'll just go to that. Okay, so I'm at another Walmart. Um, I'm going to check the customer services, ask them if they have any the dual, mega dual attacks in the back. Uh, I have a feeling I'll say no, but there were people like in the other aisle, so that's why I'm filming in the Lego section. Um, but, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'll check back in with you guys in a moment. Oh, there you have it, guys. Hours later. Okay, well, that's probably going to end the video right there. Um, I might dig around and see if they have anything else, but I think I'm pretty sure that's going to be it. So. Okay, so I am back at the hotel after that little hunt. Um, I might try... I might try, um... going we'll see what they have at universe because tomorrow i'll actually be going to universal studios but i just wanted to remember to quickly show these off because i bet some of you are dying for me to actually just flip the backs over and show you the codes so yeah unfortunately i wasn't able to find like, the mononychus but i have a feeling that that i'll, I'll be able to find it eventually so yeah, let's get a nice look at these two. So here's the Dimorphodon. Um, the paint on the wings actually look a lot more airbrushed. Um, and actually kind of more natural than the product images. And so there's the back. There is the UPC for the Dimorphodon. And... Here is Echo. Echo, I think, looks actually pretty good. But yeah, I think Echo actually looks pretty good. And I'm actually really confused why there are not as many people excited about Echo. Because this is the conclusion to the Raptor Squad. So, yeah, I'm actually a little bit confused why people have been just like, oh, Echo... Yeah, yeah, whatever, um, but, eh, whatever, I guess, so, yeah, there's all the ones for the wave, apparently they did re-release the Herosaurus and the Seolurus in this, in this wave, um, also, uh, for the, I kind of want you guys in this video, um, if you do have a Walmart nearby, I am kind of curious, like, how many of you guys actually have a Walmart that has the Mega Dual Attack figures, like the Sukumimus and Stegosaurus and Quetzalcoatlus? Um, because I went to, like, two Walmarts and neither of them had any dual attacks, but then again, they didn't even have any regular attack packs as well so maybe that's just those walmarts 
Uh, once I get back home, I'll have to check my regular Walmart and see what the situation there is. But yeah, there is the UPC for Echo. And I'll probably just cut back to the original ending where I was awkwardly ending it in the store next to a bunch of other people. So, yeah. So, there's the haul there. I did also get some more gear for recording for Universal tomorrow. So, yeah. Keep an eye out for the Universal video. Okay. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I put up new videos like this one. And as always, dinosaurs might be older than you, but you are never told for dinosaurs.